Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Happy Hope Day, happy Hope Day. Help other people excel. That's what we're here to do today. I'm Darren, and today is April 15th. Normally, it would be tax deadlines before you can file for an extension, but uh, it's been granted by a few more months that you get an extension to file your taxes. But it's Hope Day above anything else. Help other people excel. It is Wednesday. We have made it through to another Wednesday in this year. It's fantastic to be alive no matter what. The sun is shining. You're breathing. You're living. Your limbs are still functional. You've been blessed no matter what you're dealing with. This this COVID-19 coronavirus thing, um, this too shall pass. Obviously, you can see that it is passing. Um, unfortunately, it's taking some people with it. But God is in control no matter what. He knows all, sees all, hears all. And he hears the things that you don't hear. He sees the things that you don't see. And his ways are not our ways. So the reasons that he's, that he's allowing things to happen, it, it, it's a bigger picture than all of us. It is for his glory. Um, it is for the upbuilding of his kingdom and to unite uh, everyone as true believers in him. So, as I say, it is faith forward all issues to heaven. We know that a lot of people have passed away in increasing amounts. Um, as I used to say, it's like 10,000 people a day, um, 70,000 in a week. Um, you know, Obviously, those numbers have, have increased um, in the United States, in the world, um, just because of this one disease. But that one thing has its residual effects also of dis-ease, um, discomfort, and so on. So I want to talk about love because we have to continue to pour love. Love heals. Love heals. And love is an action word also. It's not just a word of saying, oh, I love you. But there's proof positive behind that because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He so loved the world. He loved the world that much that he put an action behind how much, how how lovingly and how he felt for us. So he gave. So love gives. <laughs> love heals, but love gives. You just it's just not good enough anymore or and never really has been to say I love you and you not really mean it. Um because it only goes so far if there's not an action behind it. So let's talk about love today. That's what I want to talk about. Love is a charity. Love is a charity. Love is, uh, as a noun, from a noun perspective, it's, it's a profound tender. It's passionate. Um, it's affection for. Um, so like a parent is to a child or, or to a friend. Um, a code of ethics is like a natural law because love is a natural law. There's no, you know, man-made written rule about it. It's a natural law of, of is what love is. Um, another way to look at it is a person whom love is felt towards which is the action uh, of that um, a beloved person people say beloved uh, dearly beloved um, they use that term um, is it a term of endearment uh, like a sweetheart or a desire which is love so for example like i have love for you um, i appreciate you that much that i love you i've got love for you um, it's a term of endearment like i said or the like of um, like do you want to go out tonight, love? Um, you use it in different forms, but it's all about being generous. It's all about giving charity. It, it, it's all about action because it is a natural law. And another term from a verbal perspective as a verb is to embrace and kiss as a lover, to need or require or benefit. So you have the thought of that is plants love sunlight. Plants love sunlight. Why? Because the sunlight helps them grow, makes them feel good and makes them great. It's like we love sunlight because it feels good on us. The vitamin D that's in it, you know, it, it, it has a placebo effect also. But just to see the light, it makes you feel a certain way versus seeing darkness, right? So some antonyms for you, um, which is the opposite to love, to make you think about what love is, you have to know the opposite of it. It kind of makes you grow in that. So some antonyms of love, opposites of love, 
hatred, dislike, to detest, fear, dishonesty, and greed. Those are antonyms or the opposites of love. So if you ever hated someone, disliked someone, detested someone, feared someone, or put the fear in someone, been dishonest or lying or being greedy, those are not examples of you loving someone or loving something, no matter what you say, because other than that, it's not love. It's not love. It's not love. It's not love. There's a quote from Eric Fromm that says, immature love says, I love you because I need you. Mature love says, I need you because I love you. Whoa, immature love says, I love you because I need you. Mature love says, I need you because I love you. So the immature love is just, I'm going to use you for what I want to and then get rid of you. That's the only reason I love you because you can do something for me. But the opposite is I love you flat out no matter what. I need you because I love you. Another quote by Max Mueller, a flower cannot blossom without sunshine. We just talked about plants need sunlight, right? A flower cannot blossom without sunshine. And a man cannot live without love. A man can't live without love. He'll surely die regardless he's going to die. But how? With a broken heart, with no love, a man needs that. We are all human, the human race. Where is the love? Where there is love, there is life. Another quote from Gandhi, where there is love, there is life. If you don't have love, what's the opposite of that? Hate, fear, greed, dishonesty. You know, those are things of death. You know, those are things of death. So biblically speaking, of course, the word seems to require explanation only in the case of its use by our Lord in his interview with Simon, son of Jonas, after his resurrection in John chapter 21, verses 16 through 17, when the Lord says, lovest thou me? John chapter 21, verses 1 through 14, speaks into the catching of the fish. John 21, chapter Chapter 21, verses 15 through 25, talks about Peter being reinstated. And that's chapter 18, verse 15 through 26. So I'm giving you some short examples of love that I encourage you to go back and read the scriptures on so you can find out what it what it is, what love is, what it means. And, and from a biblical standpoint also. So I encourage you also to read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through 13, which is about love. It says, what about love? Um, I encourage you to read that. So God's love and ours are two different things. And we're to mimic God's love and not try to have God mimic our love. That's where we get it all mixed up at. So some other things for you to read is 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. It's talking about testing the spirits. Um, that's pretty deep. And then 1 John chapter 4, Verses 7 through 21 talks about God's love and ours. Like I said, it's two different things. But verse 8 says, whoever does not love does not know God. Because God is love. I'm going to leave you with that one. Whoever does not love does not know God. Because God is love. So in order for you to love, you have to know God. In order to know God, you have to love. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. And you think about, draw your little circle on a piece of paper about loving God. And then draw some prongs off of it and write down what it is that you should love. Work, family, social life, relationships. There's God's love is in all of that. You have to see it. You have to want to see it. You have to be a part of it. If you want to receive it, you have to give it. And... You have to experience that, not just through your words, but through everything you do, um, no matter what you're doing at work, if in your family life, your social life, like I said, in relationships, you can't do anything and be successful or great without true love, agape love. So I hope you understood 
what's popping here. I know last week I talked about wisdom and this week is about love. So love each other. Help other people excel by showing love. Last week was about wisdom. Next week we're going to talk about awareness. So we're getting there, y'all. So I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Happy Hope Day. Help other people excel. Like the video. Share the video. I appreciate you again. Everybody just keep praying. But you have to act after you pray. Because prayer requires action. Love requires action. You have to do that. You don't really have a choice. Look at God. He exercises love by not just saying it, but displaying it. And that's what we're here to do. That's our mandate. So I love you all. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Happy Hope Day. Help other people excel, y'all. Peace.